Hello and welcome to Roanoke Hobby and Electronics. In this video we're going to take our first look at a new product that's been on Kickstarter and just uh, started shipping this month, uh, May 2016. It's the uh, Raspio Pro Hat and um, this is going to be a very useful um, addition to your Raspberry Pi. And there you go, there's uh, there's what it looks like. Um, what I've got here is uh, a Raspberry Pi B Plus uh, in a little uh, case here that I've um, 3D printed and the, uh, the pins are exposed and so that allows me to put the uh, Pro Hat right on the on top there and um, we've got it hooked up so that we can um, actually do a little demo here all right get the, everything arranged here where you can see it um, so the the pro hat the the big advantage here is uh, anyone um, that's worked with the GPIO pins uh, discovered uh, pretty quickly that it's a little confusing figuring out um, the pin numbers. Uh, you either have to constantly refer to a chart or um, have a little overlay. Um, and what they've done here is um, they very conveniently. Um, numbered the pins and put them in order so uh, like the 5 volts and the, the ground and then starting with pin number 2 going in nu numerical order around the edge of the breadboard and like that and um, the other big advantage is this this uh, this is designed um, to protect the uh, Raspberry Pi uh, because it has uh, diodes that limit the uh, voltage and the resistor a 330 ohm resistor is already built in to uh, each pin so when you're um, you're doing some experiments and trying out some circuits uh, you're not always having to include the uh, resistors which makes it a little bit crowded uh, on the breadboard so um, and just uh, to just briefly um, kind of go over some breadboard basics here um, we've got two sets of rows here and then all the uh, pin holes here on each row are connected this way and then another uh, set of rows of pins um, on the other side so the two sets are separated. So we're just going to do a simple little project here. We're just going to plug in a um, an LED and um, on the breadboard here so I can very quickly see um, the pins that are labeled for ground and we're going to connect in a wire there for ground and we're going to use um, pin number 13 then and we're going to plug that in to this side all right and then we have our uh, LED uh, the long the longer um, leg here is the positive side and the shorter side is ground so we're going to plug that into the board and then so pin 13 then um, so as you can see then that is very quick and easy to uh, hook in the wires for your um, for your project uh, knowing that you've already got the uh, resistor already in line on each pin. Um, while we're talking about that, um, 
there might be some some um, projects where you don't uh, need the resistor and you do have a row here that you can solder on the uh, pin headers uh, that you have the actual um, just say the raw input for the GPIO pins so if you uh, if you uh, do need to access them directly you do you have that option also all right so let's uh, let's jump over here and um, this is um, the the pro hat is uh, completely compatible with the GPIO zero uh, as far as uh, programming and accessing the um, the the uh, the pins. Um, all right, so we're just gonna click on here, and we're just gonna do just a quick little thing here. We're just going to uh, go into Python, and then we're going to uh, turn the LED on and then off again. And for this, we're going to use the GPL0. We're going to import LED. Um, this is a blue LED, so we're just going to call this this one blue and we're going to access pin number 13 and once we've done that we can make the call and turn blue on and then turn it back off again so as you can see that was very quick um, very simple to uh, plug in and wire up an LED um, with the uh, with the Pro Hat. And we'll take a look at uh, the same the same example, um, but in a in a program. At, that I've already typed up um, and uh, this is the uh, before the GPIO 0 this was the, um, the importing the um, GPIO, GPIO library um, and we're also going to uh, we're, we're gonna make a loop so we're gonna blink it on and off over again so we're gonna bring in um, uh, from time import sleep go into um, define our variable for pin number 13 uh, we're going to put this uh, the GPIO set mode into the uh, the Broadcom you can uh, <clears throat> you can programmatically access the pins either with the Broadcom uh, pins or the actual physical pins uh, so you you set the mode there and then um, set up LED to be GPIO out and then uh, we're just going to do a loop here where we're going to print um, LED on to the to the console we're going to uh, turn the LED to true which uh, puts pulls um, the voltage up so that on we're going to wait a second print LED off and then um, set LED to false then which uh, sets it back to zero and then um, do the GPO cleanup then when we exit okay so to, uh, to just run that we're just gonna go Python blink and as you can see it's uh, printing LED on, LED off, and you can see the light is blinking. So there you go. Very uh, quick and easy. Um, I think this will be a very good uh, product uh, for uh, someone that's a beginner or as a, as a learning tool. I could see this being quite useful.
like in a classroom situation um, the uh, with with the uh, diode and the resistors um, already in place on each pin it uh, would do uh, a really good job of protecting um, protecting the Raspberry Pi uh, while you're working with it So that's going to wrap up this video. This was just a very quick uh, first look at uh, at this new product. And uh, uh, be sure and stop by uh, RoanokeHobby.info and check out the blog um, and the online store. Uh, we've got um, several several products, um, Arduino and Raspberry Pi related uh, products on our site. So uh, if, you, uh, if you liked the video and found it useful, um, be sure and subscribe, and um, thanks for visiting.